In the last session, we were traveling through spaces like view space, clip space, and screen space. We are going to view orthographic and perspective projections and frustum in this class. To understand orthographic projection, let's consider Bombay Pune Expressway and viewing it from a helicopter or a drone. For most part, one of its lanes appears like two parallel lines at both sides of the road or a far stretch of the road. This is an orthographic view of the road. Typically, orthographic projections are done for faraway objects. The orthographic frustum view shows near plane and far plane parallel to each other. And most importantly, similar size in terms of what can be viewed within it. Think of near plane as a computer monitor and far plane as the plane including the farthest object you can see within the scene and parallel to the computer monitor screen or the near plane. The planes are near and far with respect to the viewer's eye or camera position. The space between the near plane and far plane is called a viewing box. The viewing box of orthographic projection is a cube-like frustum box. As you can see, the objects which fall completely within the viewing box, like the green cube, is completely visible and included in the view. The red cube, which falls outside the view box, is discarded, and the blue cube, which falls on the boundary of the viewing box, is clipped. Here is the perspective projection of the same lane from Bombay Pune Expressway. If you stand on the lane and view the far stretch of the straight road as far as you can see, the two edges of the road seem to merge towards the far stretch as shown here. The distance between the edges seem to be wider towards you and seem to be closer towards the far end of the road. This is a typical example of perspective projection and takes real life perspective view of the scene. If you have gone to a drawing competition for small kids, you can see most of the pictures, be it for roads or houses, are drawn as orthographic projections. Most of the engineering drawings are orthographic projections, whereas the great paintings of Da Vinci or Raja Ravi Verma capture perspective projections. Farther objects in orthographic projections seem to be same size as nearer objects, and that creates a weird view of the scene. Now let's stand in awe of the simplicity of the frustum view of the perspective projection. Again, the laptop screen can be considered as the near plane, and the plane containing the farthest object in the scene can be taken as the far plane. The length and height of the far plane seems larger than the near plane. The four sides joining far plane and near plane are trapezoidal in shape. Here again, the objects within the view box or clip space volume as it is called, like the blue cube are captured in the view. The ones on the boundary like the red cube are clipped and the green cube outside the frustum view is discarded. There are three parameters that define a camera's viewing direction. Imagine a fighter plane. Consider the X, Y, and Z axis of the plane as shown in the figure. The rotation about the Y axis in the XC plane is called Yo, and the rotation about the X axis in the YC plane is called, known as Pitch, and finally, the rotation about the C axis and in the XY plane is known as roll. The rotations can be in clockwise or anticlockwise directions. Similarly, a camera can be rotated along these axes and positioned for a particular view of the scene with specific yo, pitch, and roll parameters. In the next session, we are going to take a deep dive into depth.